Former Texas Rangers great Adrian Belche is a Hall of Famer. The baseball writers elected him to the Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility. So he received more than 95% of the vote, confirming his place as one of the great third basemen in the history of the game. Mike Ducey and Sam Gannon in now with more. Hi. Hey guys, you know, it's easy to forget that Adrian Beltre had played 13 years in the major leagues before he made his way to Texas, but what a difference he made for the Rangers. The franchise had benefited so much from his incredible talent and his impressive abilities as a leader. Beltre was at home in California with his family earlier tonight when he got the call from the Hall of Fame. Cooperstown, New York. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Answer yes, it. No, I'm going to leave it. Go to the yes, sir. <laughs> Hello. Oh, may I speak with Adrian Beltre, please? Yes, sir. This is him. Adrian, this is Jack O'Connell, the baseball. I'm calling you from the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. Your due second home. The baseball writers have elected you to the Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. Oh, it's official. <laughs> I love that moment there with his family. Now, the numbers are there for Beltre. They make him one of the game's all-time great third basemen, more than 3,100 career hits, most ever for a major league third baseman, 477 career home runs, third on that list. But it was the way that Beltre played the game that endeared him to a generation of Rangers fans. He spent the final eight seasons of his 21-year career in Texas, making memories with his sparkling play at the hot corner and memories, by the way, he related to his teammates. Who can forget Elvis Andrews giving the veteran Beltre a hard time by touching Adrian's head, a phobia <laughs> of Beltre's uh, throughout his career. Adrian Beltre brought a professionalism, a standard of excellence that makes him one of the franchise's true icons and now makes him a baseball Hall of Famer. Uh, I was glad it was over. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm honored. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's something that is, is amazing to be uh, even just on the ballot uh, and to be able to uh, now call myself a Hall of Fame is something that I even dream of. You know, I always wanted to be a, a decent baseball player, good baseball player, but I never thought about being a Hall of Fame. Now that I'm in, it's, it's really an honor. I'm, I'm humbled to be uh, called that, and uh, you know, um, it was it was kind of a it was kind of super sweet and nice the way you got the call and you when you want to see Cooperstown Cooperstown and the phone call and then yeah, I kind of settled in okay man I think you are gonna make the whole thing so it was, it was really nice. Beltre will be in Arlington for a news conference tomorrow. He goes into the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, during ceremonies July 21st. Joe Maurer, Todd Helton, and Jim Leland also in this Hall of Fame class.